You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, thanks for joining in for another Star Wars toy review. It's not an action figure. Uh, earlier on the week, I finally got around to reviewing the uh, Clartoonian Raider on the single card. If you want to check that out, I, uh, I'll leave a link at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, what I've decided to do is actually do a bit of a review on the ATST Raider, which I don't have, no longer have the packaging for. Uh, this one, you know, I've had since it was released, what was that, 2019 or 20 now? It's, uh, yeah, it's been some years. Um, I did do a review back when I was doing Star Wars Go Figure podcast. Um, I did a review for that channel, but that, uh, that has been lost to time in history. So I decided to, uh, take a look at, you know, a pretty damn cool piece of Star Wars 3.75, uh, history here because it's a it's a nice it's a nice piece it's sort of always been sort of just sat there on the shelf with my mandalorian stuff and probably doesn't get the play time it deserves um but like i said this is the uh Klatuinian raider that it comes with i did do a little bit of a comparison with this one in my video of the the newer version which at this point is still you know nearly a year, two years old or a year and a half old but, uh, yeah, speaking of old, this ATST is a repaint. I don't know if you can see right in the corner there. That's the, uh, that's the same ATST build. This one's just got some added stuff, different paint deco. It's still pretty awesome. But obviously coming from the season one episode, uh, episode four, chapter four, of the Mandalorian season one. He does struggle to stand a little bit still. Um, I actually did fill some of the joints with, with super glue <laughs> back in the day. This, this thing is notorious for not standing. So I think maybe I didn't do super glue. Maybe I added some extra washes. I can't remember because I'm still getting some of the, the joints to bend here. But yeah, sometimes those screws in the legs, you just got to tighten them up a little bit. No, so that's all still working. That's still working. Maybe maybe I did that with my Endor one. Um, so this guy's still still flexible and, and poseable and everything. So I'm just going to sort of shuffle around here to this side. You can't see me, but that's fine. So sort of get a look at all the get a look at all the details in this guy. All the different markings and weathering. I think it's really, really nice. I love the... You probably don't recognise him because of his red leg. Just like the little things like the cargo net sort of hanging off the side. The the sort of the rags that are sort of, you know, tacked around. That these, that these raiders have sort of attached. Just to sort of do their own thing. You know, obviously it was an ex-imperial vehicle that they've sort of laid claim to and used it for their own for their own gains um, against the people of Sorgan. I think that's the name of the planet, Sorgan. I'm pretty sure it was. So yeah, you got this sort of nice nice sort of weathering and washes throughout. Makes this thing look like it's been you know patrolling through a jungle planet for a few years. You know, just causing mayhem. One stage I did have a little red battery light inside of, inside the head. What I call the head, the cockpit. So you got these little parts here at the they're like the eyes. The viewports there, so they flip open. I do apologize if you can hear helicopter circling around. <laughs> Yeah, the, the little hatch opens, the big hatch opens. That's more so just for access so you can get the figures in. But even then, the sort of the weathering around the all the insides is great. 
the two little chairs. I don't think I had to put the stickers in. I don't recall. If I did, I did a really good job. I dare say they came, they came in there like that. I don't think I would have got them in that straight. But you can sort of see the sort of dirt and, and stuff like these guys just get in there with muddy shoes. They don't care. There's no no courtesy. Some more. Stay open. There we go. Some more. This little skull sort of signet there. They've got all their little markings and stuff. So you have really nice details on the inside there. So we have the sort of, I think this is a grenade launcher sort of thing. I can't remember, or you know, ion disruptor or something like that. I can't remember. Sort of going off of like facing them in like uh, Jedi Survivor and Force Unleashed and like. There we've got the blaster cannons on the side there, that side there. So like on the, I'm using like human anatomy. I'm going to call these knee plates. <laughs> um, there's some sort of cross marks. Yeah, we've got the, the skull, skull and crossbones, which is cool. But yeah, it looks like these guys have literally just taken to it with buckets of paint. Just going now. We're going to slap all our markings on it. And do what we want to do. It's nice and tight, but you do have a bit of do have a bit of a swivel there in the head. And there's uh, the sort of leg joints do come out, which looks a little bit weird. Okay, so no, I've, so I've actually glued those ones in so they don't twist and they, they stay straight. Because they were quite loose. I, the, the top heaviness of the canopy and the, the cockpit sort of weighed down at the front and sort of caused that to sort of dip down a little bit more than it needed to. Even still, it's still a little bit, still a little bit on the heavy side, but it's not so bad. Once he's on level, level ground, he's... He holds on pretty well. Yeah, I just really like the really like the look of the weathering on this one. It's a nice piece. You know, sort of people were people that sort of passed on it back when it's originally released were sort of clamouring for it afterwards. Um, it was the same with the Lego version. You know, that sort of came and went, and then everyone sort of everyone was sort of after it after the fact. Um, I don't think I hung on to my Lego one. I think I'll let that one go as well. But yeah, glad I hung on to this one. Just add something a little bit different to the display, you know, like got the got the Return of the Jedi one as well, which is nice. Never got the Hoth one, which I think was you know the same the same molds. I, this one has been released again recently with Chewy in Vintage Collection. It's, uh, you know, same mold, not the same deco. It's the sort of Return of the Jedi one, which has, you know, had its re-release again. I've, I haven't needed the, I haven't felt the need to get a second. Um, although it would be nice. <laughs> I've always got a little bit of shelf space. The thing I like about it, you can get it on a shelf. It doesn't take up a great deal of real estate in terms of area, but if you've got taller shelves, like I do... So if I pivot around, he sort of sits in the back corner there. So he takes up a lot of um, takes up a lot of unused vertical space on the shelf, which is really nice. Always a bonus. Just the white sort of markings on the side there. Really, really cool. And I can't remember whether this one come with. So the other ATSTs in the past have come with sort of swap out cannons on the side so you can change it to flick missiles. I think even this part here, 
you can swap that bit out but maybe not on this version I can't remember again I don't have the box anymore so but I like the way they portrayed this in the show they sort of give it a sort of a terrifying look with the with the big the red cockpit it was, it was a good, good episode I really like that one so long ago too hard to believe you know that was over four years ago <laughs> Yeah, this is one I've been just, you know, I've had it for a long time, and I thought, no, it's time to time to do a little bit of a little bit of an overview. I never did it did it before, except from like I said on my other channel that I no longer have. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed taking a look. So I'm pretty pretty happy with it. I've got a couple of these Clatoonian Clatoonians now, so just sort of filling up the the space around his feet a little bit. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again very soon. May the force be with you.